Hey, what's up everybody? This is David Garibaldi. I'm coming to you from my studio here in Sacramento. And I'm actually coming to you today because I wanted to talk to you about a uh, friend of mine who is very inspiring. His story is very inspiring. And uh, I think that he's just actually a great example of someone who uses their, their platform and their creativity to benefit and inspire others. So uh, the person I want to talk to you today is, is my friend. His name is Rich Simmons. And he has an art movement in the UK called Art is the Cure. Now, I first met Rich uh, through Goody Two Sleeves, who I work with on my clothing line. And they also work with uh, Rich on creating a clothing line for his movement, Art is the Cure. Now, um, I actually uh, have met him via Facebook and we, we've been talking. But when I was in London this past June, I actually had an opportunity to meet him. Uh, it was very cool. He, him and uh, his, his friend came out. And uh, we were actually in, in Piccadilly Square. So if you're familiar with London, we're in the middle of Piccadilly Square, hanging out. And uh, he also brought me a uh, Art is the Cure t-shirt, so that was pretty cool. Now, what is Art is the Cure? Um, art, is, art is the Cure is based on a theory that art can be used as a therapeutic release of emotion, anger, pain, and frustration. In Rich's own life, he has found uh, used art uh, through his own trying times. It started when he was about 17 years old, and uh, through his experience of using art to get over or to get through a lot of tough issues he, he had, um, he thought, hey, if it worked for me, maybe it'll work for someone else. So he just put up a MySpace page, started talking about uh, this theory of using art to, to get through different emotional or, or things trying times through young adults' lives. Um, what he's learned is through the stories that people have written him, uh, you know, about what he's doing. He, he's learned that it's helped people get through depression, addictions, um, I mean, autism, eating disorders, I mean, you name it, he's heard stories from people of just using art. Didn't have to be good, didn't have to be this, you know, museum quality art, just, just being creative. And it's the coolest thing is it all started with uh, Rich Simmons' own personal experience of using art as his own cure. Now the reason why I'm actually talking to you about Rich today is he just received an award. And I hopefully I'm pronouncing this right, but it's called the Vinspired Award or V-Inspired. Not too sure. I'll make sure I put the spelling up uh, after this. But Rich just won a, a Vinspired Award as, as one of the most, uh, actually let me, he wrote me here, as one of the most uh, inspirational volunteers in the UK. Now that's pretty cool. That, I think that's awesome. He was someone who just started using art and his experience through a time that he was going through. I mean, I can very much relate to that in my own story, going from pretty much graffiti to the stage and everything in between there. Um, so. I just want to say congratulations to my friend Rich Simmons all the way over there in the UK, but I know he's going to see this. And um, I hope that Rich, uh, Rich's story, which you can find at artisthecure.com, and I'll make sure I spell, have all, all the proper uh, website at the end of this message. But uh, I just want to congratulate you, Rich, for just taking, uh, using your platform, using your creativity and uh, using it to benefit and inspire others. I think we can all be uh, motivated by that. So I thank you guys for uh, listening to this. Make sure you check out Rich Simmons on his website, MySpace, Facebook, Twitter. He's on all of them, so make sure you check him out. And uh, make sure you keep using your platform to keep benefiting and inspiring others in some way. All right, thank you, and have a great, great blessed day.